Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install and use IntelliJ IDEA IDE on your Mac operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, the prerequisite of installing IntelliJ IDEA on your Mac operating system is that you need to have Java JDK installed on your Mac operating system. So if you don't know how to install Java JDK, I have already created a video about it and uh, I will put the link of that video in the description of uh, this video so you can directly see that video and uh, once you have Java installed on your Mac operating system we are ready to download the IntelliJ IDEA so for that you just need to uh, go to your favorite browser and search for download IntelliJ IDEA and the first link which will appear here will be from JetBrains which makes IntelliJ IDEA IDE forward slash idea forward slash download so we are going to click on this link now here i can see intellij idea ultimate which is the paid version of intellij idea when you scroll down a little you will also see the community version of intellij idea ide now here under community version you will see dot dmg uh, version so this jetbrains website has recognized that uh, we are using the Mac operating system so so it shows us the option to download the DMG file now how you can decide which DMG file you need to install so there are two version of DMG file so if you are using a Mac which have Intel processors in it then use the first one if you are using the MacBook which have M1 or M2 chips, then you can use the DMG Apple Silicon version. So I'm going to choose the Apple Silicon version because I have the M2 version of uh, MacBook. So once I click on this download button, this uh, IntelliJ IDEA DMG file will be downloaded. So I'm going to click on this DMG file and let me minimize the browser here. So this is the installer for the IntelliJ IDEA IDE for the community version. Now the installation is really simple. You need to drag this icon into your applications folder. So just select this uh, IntelliJ IDEA icon, press your command key on your keyboard and then drag this icon into the applications folder. So you will see this plus green sign. So, ju so just hover this uh, IntelliJ IDEA icon on the applications folder until you see this plus green button and then drop it into the applications folder. Once you drop it on the applications folder, this IntelliJ IDEA app is copied into the applications folder. And once that's done, you can go to your launch pad and you will see this IntelliJ IDEA CE uh, icon here. So you can open the IntelliJ IDEA IDE from here or you can uh, go to your applications folder in the finder and you will find this IntelliJ IDEA IDE uh, icon there also. So the installation of IntelliJ IDEA is finished. So let's start the IntelliJ IDEA IDE by clicking on this uh, icon. And now the IntelliJ IDEA uh, IDE has been started. So for the first time when it starts, it will show you this kind of license terms and conditions. Just check this checkbox which says I confirm that and then click on continue. And then uh, in the next window it says data sharing. I don't want to share any data with JetBrains. So I will just uh, click on don't send. And you can see the IntelliJ IDEA IDE has been started. So here you will see a few sections where you can create new projects. Under project section, you can also customize your IntelliJ IDEA IDE. So right now there is a dark theme. If you want to have the light theme, you can also choose this light theme or this light with the lighter header theme. Also, you can uh, choose the IDE font, which is 13 for now and then the key map is for mac os which is okay so let me choose the dark version and then you also have the option to install plugins for different uh, languages and different tools for example the support of scala is available or 
idea of vim is available and all these other tools right and then if you want to learn then you can also learn about intellij idea using this learn section let's create a project so i will uh, select the project section and then click on new project and then i need to give the name to my project so i will name my project as demo java project and the location is under idea projects which is under your home folder so if you don't have the good reason to change this just leave it as default then you can also choose the language i will choose the java language and then you can choose the build system for now i will uh, leave it as intellij uh, build system you can also choose between maven and gradle but for now just for demo i will choose the intellij build system and then the jdk is uh, jdk 21.0.1 in my case because i have installed this version of uh, java jdk also it says add sample code and generate code with onboarding tips right so if you leave these checkboxes as checked it's going to uh, add the sample code in your project which i want so i will just click on uh, create which is going to create my java project and you can see this demo java project is created here i have the source folder and then i have this main class under the source folder here i have the sample program under the public static void main and it says system dot out dot print f hello and welcome so it's going to print hello and welcome and also it's going to print these numbers now it also have added the instructions so to run the code press press this key combination or click on the run icon which is this icon here and also if you want to add the breakpoints you can see one breakpoint is already added you can also add multiple breakpoints here but uh, that we can do later so in order to run the program you would simply need to click on this run button if you want to build this program just build project by going on the build and then click on build project and then you can also run the main.java file for now i'm going to click on this run button which says run main.java it's going to build my program and it's going to run my program and what it does it prints hello and welcome and then it prints the i is equal to the numbers from 1 to 5 which is what this program is doing right now so it's that simple to install and run your java project inside your intellij ide ide and that's it for this video so this is how you can download and install intellij ide ide on your mac operating system i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video